We met our next guest for the first time almost 15 years ago, and he has one, but been uh, he, one of the biggest hearts, I think, that uh, of anybody that I've had on the show. Take a look. Hi, I'm Darrell Watson, the band director from Baloo Senior High School in Washington, D.C. The first time we appeared on The Ellen Show, I was really like nervous because we're on national television with one of the most beautiful, funniest stars in the world. So as the conversation began, she really made me feel at home, very comfortable, as if I was just speaking to one of my friends. You decided when you were in high school there, I'm gonna come back and help this school. The students, they do not define themselves by the area that they're in. They define themselves by the choices that they make and they come to school and they try to do the right thing. And that's what motivates me to be who I am today. <laughs> Second time we appeared on the Ellen Show, the band got to be here also. I can't believe it. All the crowd, the people that are cheering on us, I can't believe it. You are the best. Ellen, you are my number one. You and your staff really help the students overcome a lot. You inspire them to want to be a part of something. You're just an amazing, amazing human being. I think the same of you. You are so... Everything. Oh. <laughs> From Washington, D.C., please welcome back Catherine's co worker, one of our favorite people, Daryl Watson, everybody. dressing alike now. <laughs> We're twinning. Yeah, we are. Well, y'all are twinning. So you, you and Catherine know each other, your co-workers. How long have y'all worked together? Oh, for over 10 years now? Mm -hmm. I remember looking at her for the first time and saying, you know what, we're going to be best friends. It was just something about her, and I proved myself right. <laughs> love you. I love you, too. <laughs> um, but you are part of the Lucky 13. Yes. Which is, I, I love that y'all do this. Explain to everybody what Lucky 13 is. So the Lucky 13 is 13 individuals that came together for your 2000s show. Um, you thought so much of us to invite us to come back. And during that show, we were so inspired. It's like, okay, now what can we do to inspire others um, from the generosity that you've shown to us? So we just decided we wanted to come together. Um, we, we came together for the Lisa Jarman show. And um, it was just such a moving tribute to her. And I remember going out to dinner that night and um, Sherry Gahn, former principal, she was telling us about an issue, well, not an issue, but a time where her and her husband used to share a blue martini every Friday. So I went to the bar and I asked the bartender, could they send over a blue martini? And when they came over, she was like, well, what, what is this? And I said, I had it sent over to you or whatever. And it's just how we just try to show support to one another and just, you know, just show random acts of kindness because of it. you. Uh, well, I love that you call yourselves the Lucky 13. You, and so you've been a part of this for 15 years. Um, and like I said, just one of the biggest <laughs> hearts uh, I've, I've ever met. We've helped wow. a lot of people, but you're an incredible guy. What is a, a memory of yours that stands out? Oh, my goodness. Uh, you. You. I'll never forget. I hope I can keep it together for this. I'll never forget the moment. Uh, the band was here this particular time. And I think you heard a little bit on the piece. You looked right at me and you said, I love you. And... <laughs> For you to say that to me, that meant the world to me. You saw me. You recognized me. You know, that... That meant the world to me. I've, I've dedicated my life to education and to educating our youth. And in that moment, you made me feel real special, real special. You are real special. And, and it's, it's people like you that make this platform, because television can be all kinds of things, but I've wanted this to be a platform for joy, for, for inspiration, and, um, and to find people like you who are doing things that nobody else would see unless you had a platform like this for everybody to see what you're doing. So. I just, I just adore you, and I'm so glad I've given you this platform. Thank you. More with Darrell after this. We're back with uh, band director Darrell Watson. 
Um, so uh, you uh, have been with Blue for how long? 27 glorious headache years now. <laughs> 27 beautiful years. Yeah. So uh, a lot of teachers are uh, in a school for a certain amount of time, and then they change and they move on to another school. And you have never done that. Do you want to tell everybody why? Well, I grew up in a community of actually right across the street from Baloo High School. Um, and all I've known is that particular area. And those are some of the hardest working students that you ever want to meet. It's just that it's in one of the roughest neighborhoods. But at the same time, if you walk the halls and you see the beautifulness, the, 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 the glow of these students, you know, it'll really inspire you. And that's what it has for 27 years. Over the years, uh, you have inspired a lot of people, uh, and the story is connected with a lot of people, uh, including Brian Scudamore, who is the founder and CEO of 1-800-GOT-JUNK. He is here today, and he wanted to meet you, so come on out, Brian. Brian, uh, I have met before because he's done some. Uh, I, his, his story is amazing. When you when you hear how he started this company, it's it's very inspiring. Wow. Um, but you have a move. It's it's called uh, Can You Imagine? Explain the Can You Imagine movement. Yeah, it's the ability to imagine big things. You start with dreams, and if you imagine something big, it might actually just happen. Mm -hmm. So we were here last time. One eight hundred got junk was hauling away some of Andy's things, <laughs> and I said. Uh, can I meet Ellen? I got to meet you, the opportunity to give you my book. And I said, I wrote about you in my book. And I said, one day, like, I'm here right now. <laughs> this would happen, and it did. And you and I aligned on that possibility. And we've got a, I know we've got a picture of myself as a kid, uh, a drawing that I did. And I, the moment that I aligned with, oh, wow. there we go. I did that drawing, four and a half years old. My grandma wrote my name on the back. And when she passed away, I found that drawing. And it, it locked in for me the idea that if we imagine big possibilities and plant that seed at an early age, that's me at four and a half, and at 30 when she passed away, we started the business and we're a half a billion dollar company. I was ADD, 14 schools from high school, uh, university, never graduated from anything except kindergarten, and I wanted to start planting seeds of possibility in other kids. Yeah. We started doing murals called Can You Imagine? and all these big ideas that the kids are dreaming of so they can walk by and see every single day so that they can make dreams come true. Wow. And where are you putting the next mural, Brian? Washington, D.C. <laughs> we are, I, I need your help. Okay. I met you for a reason. Ellen put us together because I want us to create a movement. I want to come to Washington, D.C. and have you and I meet all the kids and find out what their dreams are, what big possibilities they haven't thought of yet Mm -hmm. that they just need to be asked. That's awesome. Because if we can put them up on a wall and document them and they walk by and see all these big ideas every single day, they're gonna make big, big, big things happen and you and I are gonna start a movement. <laughs> I love it. I'm telling Let's you, go. this guy, Brian, is amazing. <laughs> More with Darrell and Brian after the break. We're back with band director Darrell Watson, founder uh, and, and the founder and CEO of 1-800-GOT-JUNK, Brian Scudamore. Um, so uh, the Baloo, uh, you say that the, the students, the band, they're like family, right? Yes. Everybody's like family. And your mom was a huge supporter, and she lived across oh. the street from there, right? She lived across the street from the school, grew up right across the street. <laughs> mm -hmm. And my mom was everything. The students loved her. They called her Mima. Oh. And... Um, yeah, when I came here one day and I bought the shirt from her, uh, you would have thought that I had a million dollars, the way she snatched it out of my hand. <laughs> but uh, she wore that shirt all the time. Um, so sweet. She truly, truly loved you. I think she was probably your biggest fan in the community. Um, but yeah, she was, uh, woo, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, that's, uh, I, that's a, a very, very special that yeah. she wore my shirt. That's so sweet. Um, uh, since we are, uh, we keep saying the show is winding down. This is the last time I'll probably see you on the show. We wanted to do something big, um, which is why I brought Brian here, because Brian likes to do big things for people that are doing big things. So, Brian? Yeah, we want to present Baloo High School with a check for $100,000 to start making Can You Imagine Dreams Come True. There you go. Uh, we're going to build a movement. 
Darrell, we're going to build a movement. Okay? Thank you, Ellen. Wow. Brian, you're amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I want to thank Mario Lopez. I want to thank all of you for watching. This is why we do this show, for, for things like this, because, and I'm going to miss having this platform to, to show, showcase people like Darrell, because um, this is what I planned on. Uh, I wanted to make people laugh. I wanted to make people happy. But then it's grown into things like this. So thanks, everybody, for being a part of my final season.